when we'll be scanning the acl anterocruciate ligament very important marker to see the anterocruciate ligament is the transverse meniscal ligament and this transverse meniscal ligament i told you other name is only transverse ligament or it is also called the intermeniscal transverse ligament so it is basically bridging the two part of the anterior horn of the medial and the lateral meniscus so when we'll be able to see that the acl starts inferior and posterior to that and getting attached to the inner part of the lateral condyle of the femur so this what will be you know the most easy way to see this uh, the acl is to find out this the intermeniscal transverse ligament part one part is anterior medial part and another is your posterior lateral part so to see it we need to flex it maximally okay so i'll be flexing it maximally and here what is most important part i'll be searching for the transverse ligament intermeniscal transverse ligament and it will be just below that so how shall i prove the put the probe one end will be on the patella on the midline you no know? on the midline one part will be on the patella and another part will be on the you can see very nicely let me reduce the little bit of depth so that you can appreciate it nice this is not acl you know this is not acl so try to find out a very hyperechoic cross sectional area you see this is your the in short transverse section of your transverse ligament and another important things to remember that so you see that what is the depth here that is another way to remember so normally it is around 2 cm so here it is only 1 cm you know below so it should be from the skin normally acl starts in the tibia at around 2 cm and you have to find out the transverse ligament so this is acl this is acl okay and as i told you it looks very similar to that of this so you know superficial layer of the hop fast fat and you are having the you know every chance that we are getting mistake which one is acl and which one is not so how to remember how to understand so first trick is two trick one trick is find out where is your transverse ligament intermeniscal transverse ligament and second trick is find out the depth it should be approximately 2 cm from the skin and you find out that area and it will be hypoechoic little bit of hyperechoic borders might be there but mostly the hypoechoic by which we can find out the i'll be again freezing it and i'll be showing you another important things as i told you there are two bundles so look at the foot so when we normally the rotate the leg externally what will happen the anterior medial part will be coming more prominent and when will be rotating it internally then the posterior lateral part will be more prominent so first i am putting here and i'll be rotating the knee so that you can understand that which one is anterior medial part which one is so now what is what is my, what i am trying to do first i am trying to first first out the hyperechoic intertransverse ligament that is the first part so that hyperechoic intertransverse ligament that means below that is your acl so now what i am doing i am doing the external rotation keeping the probe holding the probe there so you can see the below the intertransverse intermeniscal transverse ligament you can see that we are stretching the acl can you appreciate that so now it is becoming little bit hyperechoic and when i was stretching it big bulky portion all below that intertransverse ligament is your acl i'm just putting this this way now it is the posterior lateral bundle it is becoming little bit hyperechoic and again i am rotating it just look at that the area you see the intertransverse ligament is very nicely seen and below that hyperechoic area is your acl everybody could understand that how to find out acl so what i told you key is find out the find out the this hyperechoic area that is your that meniscal transverse ligament and that is the key how to find it out okay it is clear to everybody
and as i told you don't confuse with the superficial layer of the half fast fat pad because you know otherwise all other structures you know everything is you know upper part is is looking almost similar and it is very much confusing that which one is acl and other other tips what i told you that it should be from the skin you measure the depth it should be approximately 2 cm 2 cm or little less than 2 cm should be from where it is getting you know originate 